What's up guys? Well, Season of Discovery, it's coming up really quick, so let's take a look at what professions are going to be good for gold making, or at least theorize, because, I mean, who knows, we're going into a completely new game mode, or a max level game mode, of course we can know what's going to be good at level 60, pretty much, unless they come with some huge changes, they have made some, by the way. Um, but what's going to be the thing at level 25? The initial level cap. Obviously we're going to want to make gold, so we can twink out our characters, get good consumables and have fun. Um, and, and as well, make sure that we're ready for the next phases when they come around, because I mean, gold making is fun. Um, so obviously we don't know, we don't know. Uh, the end game meta, the level 60 meta in classic engineering was by far the best profession. Uh, and then it didn't matter so much what you paired it with. Uh, as far as I can remember, at least I had alchemy on my rogue. The second one doesn't matter. Engineering is insane because goblin cyber charges are just absolutely broken, as well as some of the other utility that engineers. Um, now there are some changes uh, already, because I was looking around on Wowhead. I was looking around on Wowhead as uh, as you typically do, right? Um, and this classic database already has a couple of new recipes. So epic bind and pickup gear uh, with extremely strong uh, effects that seem to uh, require an item from, I'm assuming the item drops from um, from Black Fathom Deeps because these are required level 25. They require a Shard of the Void, which is a, a binom pickup item, um, which very much looks like um, it's gonna be a thing. This These items are interestingly binom pickup and requires leather working 100 for the leather gloves. And then the same thing for the other, um, for the types of items, there's one for, uh, there's the mail armor, there's leather gloves, uh, there's cloth boots. Uh, so these are all, all the ones that people want. There's actually two different ones for, for leather, you, if you want the, uh, the caster or the physical DPS. Um, so that's obviously one big change, and we might see similar changes coming further down the line. Uh, but this means that in, in Season of Discovery, it's definitely going to be optimal probably to have, uh, to be able to craft your own armor type if you really want to min-max your professions. Um, so that's pretty pretty cool. Now obviously I'm going to focus a little bit on the level 25 meta in this video. Um, what's going to happen down the line? I mean, we don't know. We don't know how big the changes are yet. So we'll just have to, to come as we go. Now as for what you can make gold selling, typically, my experience, three types of items or four, depending on how you want to uh, want to cut it. Consumables, anything that increases player power for a short amount of time. Gear, we can also lump in stuff like enchantments and anything that uh, increases the level, power level of your gear permanently. There aren't much, there isn't much in that in that category except for enchanting in classic, which you can't sell on the auction house, and thus it makes it a really annoying profession to try to make gold with. So I don't bother. Um, and then you have utility items, so typical uh, bags, um, other forms of, uh, of utility, things that don't give you, strictly speaking, more DPS, but th that are useful, so things that can get you faster around, uh, more space in your bags, that kind of thing. Bags is the number one in that category in Classic, That's from it's from tailoring as far as professions goes, uh, and there aren't that many other utility items, and generally speaking, that's a, a, a much smaller uh, type of, uh, of items that we care about. Um, so what are we going to care about in the first phase when we can get to 25? We're going to care about consumables that are close to the level cap. We're going to potentially care about gear that is close to the level cap. Um, and we're going to care about getting the biggest bags we can, right? Big, getting the biggest bags we can. We can't get that big bags because we can only get to level 25. So not sure how... Uh, I'm sure some degenerate farmers will find ways to farm like Mage Weave or whatever at level 25, but in general we shouldn't really expect to to be able to get much above Silk um, in terms of, um, of slots. Now for consumables, I think it's pretty clear that we're talking about one profession that is, and that is of course our good friend Alchemy. Woo, Alchemy. So much stuff that you can craft here. Obviously, there's a bunch of different uh, elixirs and potions available. Anything from elixir of lesser agility for eight agility, ogre strength for eight strength, elixir of firepower for spell fire damage for fire mages. Um, there's and then healing mana potions. Obviously, free action potions. If there's any bosses that stun, these are going to be huge. This is like one of the best um, consumables in the entire game in terms of strength. Lesser invisibility potion, really strong seller long term. Great rage potion for warriors. 
there's a lot of, uh, of consumables here that are going to be useful in Black Fathom Deeps, that are going to be useful. Of course, we don't know, is there going to be logging, parsing, will Warcraft log support like uh, parse runs in BFD? That means people are going to get sweaty and buy like the damage potions um, or elixirs. Either way, like alchemy, definitely you have a lot of stuff that's potentially useful in the first phase for other players. Um, and that will likely sell. Then you have some other ones. If you just look at like the overall list of items here, that this is items with required level between 20 and 25. That's crafted by professions. So stuff that we can use in the first phase of uh, Season of Discovery. Um, most do we see the alchemy. There's obviously buff food for eight stamina, eight spirit, armor kits for a little bit of, um, of armor for tanks. Um, and then there's the sharpening stones and weapon stones from blacksmithing to, uh, to to make your weapons a little bit stronger, which we should also see. There's also a couple of engineering grenades. They don't show up in this search because they typically have much lower level requirements and instead they have a significant engineering requirement. Now, I don't think engineering doesn't seem that good in the first phase, but obviously uh, if you're planning long term, then maybe you go engineering and blacksmithing or engineering and tailoring, depending on what, um, um, what armor type you are. So we could see people having that and crafting the engineering grenades is super time consuming and annoying. So I made a ton of gold crafting sapper charges and selling them in, in classic because even though most people had engineering and obviously your customers needed to have engineering to be able to use the sapper charges, it was a time consuming process because of all the intermediate materials. So they paid, they paid big money actually for the sappers. Um, but yeah, we'll see if that's the case in in phase in the first phase. Um, we'll see how how much people care about min maxing their DPS in the first phase as well. Uh, I mean, generally speaking, we see that people do prefer to min max. Um, but yeah. Now for the gear um, options, obviously we have these new BOP items that also then require um, these BOE items, like the extra planner spider silk boots. They require a pair of spider silk boots. So getting these recipes, the Shining Silver Blessed Pride, the Spider Silk Boots, and the Toughened Leather Gloves, this is going to be very important as far as gear crafting goes. Now they are just trained from the from the vendor, um, most of them. So this isn't going to be something that uh, it's going to lock people out. But if you're the first to get this, um, then you can expect to sell these um, fairly nicely. There's always going to be someone who prefer prefer just just buying the finished item over assembling all the materials and uh, these do require a higher skill level 145 compared to, to wearing these not sure quite sure what the recipe um well, if the, these require 160 so then i don't think it's gonna matter but then again i did sell a ton of separate charges to people who already had engineering so never say never um outside of that it's mostly like green gear which isn't that strong in my opinion um, so I don't really see gear as being like a huge factor in the first uh, um, first phase with one significant uh, exception and that is the uh, the ones from enchanting so the ones from enchanting I mean this is just my my classic hardcore character um, and I've sold a ton of ones while well, I haven't logged in in a while so I guess we just go here yeah uh, 129 ones sold well, a lot of them to vendors and then a lot of them on the auction house this is just a great item um, these are extremely strong for people leveling um, casters and everyone's going to want one and then the greater magic one when they're leveling a caster so this makes enchanting a pretty good uh, early uh, profession you can generate gold you can generate potentially vendor shuffle gold um, so that's one to to pay attention to in, in the gear market then lastly, utility and utility. Well, we're looking at bags, pretty much bags. Um, well, technically you can get high enough skill to craft the uh, mage weave bag, which does require tailoring 225. Uh, but then you also have to be able to get mage weave cloth, which is a lot harder to um, to do. Because uh, I mean, mage weave cloth, that drops from, from 40, 40 plus mobs, uh, which I don't think you'll be able to farm at level 25. So I do not expect us to get um, that high. Realistic is that the woolen bag will be the highest we can reliably get because wool cloth is actually farmable at level 25. There, it may be possible to farm silk. There are some like level 30 mobs uh, that do drop silk. Not sure how easy they will be to access or whether we'll be like physically locked from going to them or something like that. 
um, but they won't be easy to farm and will be pretty much a, a significant luxury, which means I don't think people will bother. I think we'll stick with uh, with um, the wool bags as the, sort of the main one. Wool and linen um, are going to be the most most used ones for the for the first phase, and there's going to be good money because people always want bag space. It's very very useful. Now, as for combinations. My opinion is that the number one is uh, if you're generally playing the game and won't care about like your main, I would go with whatever uh, armor type profession you are um, going to get value out of from doing the BFT raid, uh, plus alchemy. Alchemy is just a very consistent uh, consumable, strong sales. There's so many extremely good alchemy consumables in classic that makes it a very, very strong choice. Um, the best one from a gold making perspective is probably blacksmithing out of those so like it's better to be a plate class in some some respects because you can craft weapon stones there's some other you can craft some weapons as you go um so that is it now if you want to min max for gold making um you can also go tailoring alchemy uh as a for bags that's also a uh, a possible uh, option and um, I like leatherworking a little bit less. You can obviously also go enchanting plus alchemy, which is pretty good early on for uh, cranking out wands and then pivoting into alchemy, trying to sell alchemy consumables, and then you can maybe change out um, enchanting after a little while. That's probably what I'll do: get enchanting early, sell a bunch of wands to get the gold rolling, um, and then swap to uh, the armor profession. Um, that's sort of my my preference. There's also one little cool new item for uh, enchanting which I forgot to mention which is the black feather mana oil this is a new weapon um, weapon oil which is very very strong uh, for black fathom deeps which I expect all casters will want to run um, which is also from enchanting so this is a, a little bit of extra value to enchanting because generally I don't like enchanting in classic because you have to sell it in trade chat and be there which is I find that annoying personally um, so that's it, like alchemy plus armor type is sort of what I'd consider the go-to from like a mix of gold making and performance. Um, long term, um, you may want to swap into engineering if you truly care about performance. Depends a little bit on how we see the later phases. Um, but I mean, we've already seen on this list a couple of new recipes. Are they going to add more and how is that going to shake up the profession meta later? We don't know. Um, but you don't really have to spend that much for the first phase. Just get your profession to about 150, 160. That's going to get you all of the value you care about in this phase because we can't get the, the higher level materials yet anyway. Um, and then we'll we'll reassess once we know what's in the next phase. Anyway, I'm looking forward. We'll see you when uh, the servers drop. Good luck.